Odo allows you to compare the data appearing on the purchase order, receipt, and vendor bill. So this prevents a customer from paying fake vendor bills. So this functionality in Odo is known as three-way matching. And let us see how three-way matching works in Odo 50. So just open purchase module. And when you open configuration settings, here you can see this feature is already enabled. So make sure that you only pay bills for which you receive the goods you ordered. So after enabling this, and when you save the settings, when you create a purchase order, so after choosing the vendor, let's add products to the order line. So here you can see product cabinet with doors. So just go to external link and make sure that the vendor bill policy is delivered quantities. So you can see the control policy is on ordered quantities. That is bill is created based on order quantities. So we have to change this to on received quantities. So that bill need to be paid only for received quantities. So here let us change the quantity as five. Now let's confirm the purchase order. So after confirming the order, we can receive quantities from the vendor. But before, if you try to create bill, here you can see that button. You can see an error message shown. This There is no invoiceable line because the product has a control policy based on received quantity. So we have to make sure that the quantity has been received. So here we have the button receive quantities and you can view the receipt. So the product cabinet with those is received from Azure India and the demand is five. So suppose if you receive only three quantities. So we can save this and validate the receipt. So we can see as we have uh, processed less products than the initial demand, you can create a back order to achieve the remaining quantities. So we can process the transfer later or we can do not create back order if you don't want to process the remaining products. So here let me click on no back order. So you can see we have received three quantities and you can see build is zero. Now you can see we can create bill for this order. So you can see draft bill is created and the invoice line is added. So invoice is created for three quantities of this product cabinet with those. And now when you come under other information, you can see a field here, decide whether this bill need to be paid. So you can see this should be paid is set as yes by Odoo. This is because we have received three quantities and we are trying to create bill for three quantities. Now, when you change this quantity as five, and when you save this and when you check, the field should be paid. You can see it shows exception because there is a mismatch in the quantity order, receive, and build. So here we can find that we have ordered five quantities, but we have only received three quantities and we are trying to create bill for five quantities, but this should not be paid. It's a fake bill. And again, if you try to edit this both, and again, if you check this, again, you can see it shows exception. Now, 
here I'm changing it back to three quantities. So after saving this, you can see should be paid is now set as yes. So the value of the field should be paid is updated by Odo automatically. And you can see there are three options. Yes means the bill have to be paid because you have received the quantities, uh, quantity of product. No means don't pay the bill because you have not received the product. Then exception means there is a difference in the ordered, billed and received quantities of products, which we have seen before. So now we can confirm this bill. So there is an error shown, like the bill or refund date is required to validate the document. So we have to provide the bill date. Now after that, you can confirm this. And then we can register the payment. So after reconciliation, this will be moved to paid state. Now we can come back. So here we can see ordered quantities five and we have received three quantities and bill is created for three quantities and we have paid for the bill. So that's how trivia matching functionality works in order 15. And please also try to watch a video how to create purchase order in order 15.